We have 65 chimpanzees on six islands and each of them has got a very, a very unique appearance. They are different ages, different sex, they have got a different character, body formations and uh, all the time you know you can quickly you know identify them. They all have different names. They were subjected to a lot of uh, um, invasive uh, procedures, which included taking biopsies. Some of the chimps we are, you, you're seeing here were probably in their lifetime, the time they're doing research, could have experienced about 400 biopsies, meaning 400, they were anesthetized 400 times, meaning they were terrified 400 times, meaning they probably got depressed 400 times. These cages were built by New York Blood Center in the 70s. Because they came into this country and took over for research in 1974. And they, brought, they started getting chimps from the hinterland. And those chimps were placed in those cages, two in a cage, two each, a male and a female. We used to, be, we used to come in here and clean in the cages. This is the interconnecting door. We will put the chimps to that side, we'll clean here, then we'll bring the chimps back here. None, none escape. Everybody will stay here in time because we will stay here with them. So the, the, the whole expatriate left and went away. So we remain here with the chimps. That was very attractive that we could live on and have all the suffering. You know, we cannot release them back in the wild because of all the tests that were done on them. They could, they could uh, you know, have a devastating effect on conservation of uh, other chimps, while free-ranging free chimps or wild chimps. So this comes from the market? Yes, from the market. This is uh, the chimp with the breath control or the breath building water. And the game waiting on it. Cherokee, Pocahontas, FDA.
this whole compound is stationed in a what we like to avoid putting the But over the time, you know, we've been able to rehabilitate them. They are not as frightened anymore. Of course, b besides the uh, the trauma, the emotional trauma, you know, there was a period during the Liberian Civil War where there's no food for them. There's essentially the, the caregivers, the staff uh, from the biomedical research had to dig deep in their pockets and provide very basic rations, which of course, you know, led to severe suffering. The caregivers are trained, you know, not to to do anything that uh, could bring back those uh, kind of memories. And uh, we try as much as possible, you know, to keep a very um, positive relationship, you know, between, between the caregivers and the chimps. I guess you could do it on the boat anyway. No, no, no. When, when he was still a young one with a model. Right. 